Thailand this morning we left Malaysia and Langkawi Island and we took a ferry only for 90 minutes and we landed here actually our ferry even couldn't come here we had to leave the ferry on the sea and get another boat and get to the island behind me there is a border control the cutest the most beautiful border control I've ever seen we are here for a few days and many people actually believe that this island is the prettiest island in Thailand I don't know because I just arrived here and I'm trying to figure it out let's go and explore this island together Kholipe is home to some of the best beaches in Thailand. This island is an actual tropical paradise with shallow, clear and calm waters and stunning white sandy beaches is the ideal destination for anyone looking to relax or enjoy activities like swimming, snorkeling and diving. The only way to get to Kolipe is actually by boat, so there's no airports on the island. And if you're in Thailand on the mainland, it might take you a few ferry rides to get here, so it's not very straightforward. Actually, one of the most convenient ways and one of the closest places you can come here from is Langkawi Island in Malaysia, where we were yesterday, so we took advantage of the proximity. We took the 90 minutes ferry to come over here and check this island out, and so far it looks very good. Kholipe is a hidden gem because of its secluded location not many tourists can get here so it doesn't get crowded like other popular places in Thailand this is what makes this island pretty special when we got to this island we had to pay 200 baht per person this money is literally is because this island is part of a national park or national reserve. When we arrived, of course, we didn't have Thai currency. So we asked if we can pay with other currency and we had ringgit, which is Malaysian currency, and they accepted. The 200 baht covers five days being on the island. But many people, they come here for diving like us. But if you want to go on a diving trip, you have to pay 200 baht per day extra. From Langkawi, you can take a day trip to Kolipe. But if you have time, try to stay on the island. You can't do much on a day trip since you still need to go through passport control. To get the best of the island, you should spend at least three to five days here. There are various types of accommodation on the island. There are many resorts, hostels, or even a small hotels. We are staying at Mali Resort. Doesn't have pool, but we have a villa, which is spacious, it's nice. Our bathroom is outdoor bathroom. Uh, at the beginning, I was a bit scared of taking a shower or going to the toilet because there is no ceiling. I mean, I was scared of cockroach but uh, luckily we didn't see any cockroach so far so it's fine and for something like that uh, you should pay 120 pounds per night the resorts here are not cheap but if you want a budget friendly accommodation maybe hostel This is actually Pattaya Beach, the most popular beach here because all the boats and ferries arrive here and there are a lot of resorts on this beach but now we are walking to the other side of the island they call it Sunrise Beach and Sunset Beach There are not many roads and streets on the island, but the main one is here, it's called Walking Street and there are a lot of shops, restaurants and also spa places I would say or massage places on this street. If you start walking from the beach, you can end up in the other side of the island in another beach. Uh, if you're coming directly from Malaysia to this island, you might think you might not find internet or a SIM card, but actually here in Kolipe on the walking streets, there are a few places that sell SIM cards, so it was easy for us to just come in, walk around and get one for 200 bahts for 5 days and 10 gigabytes. 
there's other, other options if you stay longer but yeah it's quite cheap and easy to just get one Less than one pound. It's very hot. Very delicious watermelon. Mm. This island is car free. There is no car on the island, and the only form of transport here is the motorcycle. Even the taxi is a motorcycle. The sun is very hot and I'm trying to cover up. I feel that my skin is burning. The color of the water here is incredible. Look at that. It's so, so pretty. Actually, there is a strong current, and if I am not careful, I will go with that. And first, I didn't notice, but I noticed, okay, I'm getting away and I'm getting farther and farther from our stuff so then I noticed finally there is a current <laughs> yes now I'm trying to fight it to go back where we had started We actually had breakfast at our hotel, we had it for a couple of days, but today we are leaving, it's our last day. I wanted to try if I could find some like nice coffee and we tried this place, which is supposed to have a good coffee, uh, because yeah, I, I, I don't like American coffee and that's what the hotel has, so we're gonna try this one today. I think I don't understand a lot between the good coffee or bad coffee. <laughs> this coffee is coffee for me. But I think Italians have different standards when it comes to coffee and it should be really great coffee and with cappuccino, you know. And Bruno is Italian, so... Satisfied? It's good enough. And you have a big, big... Brownie. Too big. <laughs> I didn't expect the ice cream. For two cappuccino, one with coconut milk, one with normal milk, and brownies and banana cake, we paid three sixty. This island is famous for snorkeling and diving and we've been diving in the last couple of days and many people they come here they take a day or two to other smaller islands just for having a private beach or doing a barbecue on the other islands or just a snorkeling and it's a beautiful island there are a lot of dive sites here actually there are three different main dive sites around here one of them is Stonehenge which is closed right now for 10 days and unfortunately we couldn't dive there but we dive in the other dive sites my next video will be about diving in Colipe make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our adventure underwater We take that off from our villa and we are still in our resort because we are waiting for our ferry. Our ferry will arrive at 4 p.m. to go back to Malaysia in, uh, to Langkawi Island. But apparently for the check-in we should go one hour, no, two hours before. So we have one hour to eat and then go and I order 
bolognese because I don't want a spicy food while I'm traveling. It doesn't look very like bolognese and Bruno went for pega. Mine looks pretty good actually. Our plan is to leave Thailand Kolipe and go to Malaysia. So this means last night we slept in Thailand Kolipe and we are still here. And tonight we are going to sleep in Malaysia. And tomorrow night we are going to sleep in Singapore. Like three nights, three different countries. Now we are going to check in. Check in means for our ferry and go through the passport control which is literally on the beach without our stuff, without our luggage but the hotel they will send our bag there and when I say we'll send it there is no vehicle coming here it's just like they have a car and someone will carry it They said to be here at 2 and it's 2.05 Still, they haven't opened the whatever it is gate. We are officially out of Thailand. They kept our passport. We, uh, we don't know when we get it back, probably on the ferry or when we arrive in Malaysia. And instead of the passport, we have this. So now we are out of Thailand and we feel the landing card for Malaysia and we have one hour to go around even if we want to swim or go back to our hotel or whatever we want to do and then we have to come back at 3.30 then take a ferry and go so i never been in a border control like this when you give your passport and you're officially out of the country you are still in the country you can do whatever you want Our last hour in Thailand and how to spend it? Just have a coconut, fresh coconut next to the beach. Bruno couldn't tolerate the heat and went for a swing. But I don't like to get dirty. <laughs> we have a long way to go, so there is no shower. I stay here in a shade. How was your swing? Didn't work. You are still hot? And the water is boiling too. <laughs> it's time to go and leave the island. And now we have to take a boat to our ferry. We arrived in Malaysia and what we needed it was a shower like the first thing this is our home for one night and after shower we just need to eat and our hotel is just right next to the airport so tomorrow early we can go to the airport and fly to Singapore but for now we are going just to eat last night in Malaysia I mean kind of first night and last night but in our trip is our last night and I ordered some Chinese Malaysian uh, dish. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly or not. It's char kui to. And it's shrimp noodle. Let's finish our Malaysian trip with the good food.